Hi Grade Fives, welcome to your next lesson of ukulele. Today we're going to be looking at a whole new array of chords just so we can build some good finger dynamics. So our fingers can be able to move around, hold different shapes and just get comfortable with the fretboard on the ukulele. So, so far, what we've done is a C, we've done a G, an A minor, an F, and we brought this other one, a G7. But today we're going to look at chords within the key of A. So all of those chords were in the key of C. C, G, A minor, F major, G7, they're all in the key of C. And the way you know if something's in its key, if it sounds like it's resolved, if it sounds like all the tension has been released, then that is most probably the key. So for example, if I'm going from a G7, it sounds like I've just relieved all that tension. So it'd be... is always the key and that's just something you should always have in mind all right so let's go to the key of a and let's zoom into the ukulele and let's see what i'm doing all right so here's our first chord a major and how you're going to hold it is i want you to hold an f major so remember f major middle finger on the second fret g string index finger on the first fret e string and remember our strings are g c e a giant cats eat avocados or arachnids such as spiders so, if we have our F major, all you're gonna do is one simple move. Take your index finger, your pointy finger, and take it up a string. So now it should be on the C string first fret. And that's A major, super easy. All right, so this was F major. This is A major. So let's try to remove our fingers, remove our fingers, put it back on. One, two, three, strum. A major. Again, remove it. Put it back on. One, two, three. A major. Let's try in two seconds. Remove it. Put it back on. One, two, strum. Again, remove it. Put it back on. One, two, strum. Okay. One tip whenever you're changing your chords, make sure you have your, you move both fingers at the same time. That's how you'll be quick. If you're always going one finger, one finger, you become slow when changing your, when changing your chords. So always move both fingers at the same time. But in the beginning, as you're trying out a new chord, obviously you're gonna start by moving one finger at a time. But as you get better, aim to move both fingers, okay? So that's our first chord, A major. Let's go to our next chord. It's gonna be called F sharp minor. And how you're gonna do it is hold an A major, keep these two fingers where they are, but now you're gonna add your ring finger on the second fret of the E string. Just that. That's called F sharp minor. So if I wanted to change from A major to F sharp minor, I would change A major, add the finger, my ring finger, F sharp minor. Let's try that together. Let's change from A major to F sharp minor. F major, F sharp minor. Again, A major, F sharp minor. Now one thing you'll notice is an F sharp minor is the exact same shape as a G7, except you just move every finger up a string. Just like that. So, let's go from A major to F sharp minor a couple of times. Let's strum four times on A major, then four times on F sharp minor. One, two, three, four. F sharp minor. One, two, three, four. Back to normal. A major. Two, three, four. F sharp minor. One, two, three, four. Alright, so those are two new chords. Let's go to our third chord. Now, I want you to keep your middle finger where it is. So far, our middle finger has not moved at all. So it's been on the second fret of the G string. And you're going to take your ring finger, put it right underneath it on the second fret of the C string. Then your pinky finger right underneath it on the second fret of the E string. Okay? And just like that, that's our... D major chord. They're all squished together in a straight line. And the A string is not being held. Make sure it doesn't sound like this. And also, I don't want you to try to hold it like this. I want you to really try to get that pinky involved. Because the pinky is such a major thing that we like to use. It's like being able to play football with only one leg. 
it's going to be pretty easy for someone who can use both legs to tackle you. So make sure you're able to use all your fingers. So practice it with your pinky, it'll hurt a bit, but the more you practice it, the easier it becomes. D major, okay? So let's remove it, put our D major back on. All right, let's see if you can do it in three seconds. Remove it, go. One, two, three, strum. Again, another three, sec three seconds. Remove it. One, two, three, strum. That's our D major. Let's see if you can do it in two seconds. Remove it, go. One, two, strum. Again, remove it. One, two, strum. All right. So let's try change from all three chords. Let's go from A major to F sharp minor to D major. So starting here, A major, strum, F sharp minor, strum, D major, strum. Notice how my middle finger has not moved. All right, let's try it again. Let's give four strums to each one. Three, go. One, So one last time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now let's go to our fourth and last chord for today. What we're going to do is to hold this chord, let's go back to our G7, okay? This, so what we're going to do is we're going to use this same tunnel shape. So we've had this tunnel in three different chords. In G major, we had that tunnel and the car was in front of the tunnel. In G7, we had that tunnel, and the car was behind the tunnel. But now in this next chord called E7, we're gonna keep the tunnel, but now the car is gonna be outside the tunnel. Okay? So this was behind the tunnel, this is outside the tunnel. He's not even using the tunnel, he's driving on the high road, right there. So keep that tunnel, middle finger on the second fret of the C string, ring finger on the second fret of the A string, your pointy finger, index finger, on the first fret of the G string. That's E7. Let's try changing from G7 to E7. So put it behind the tunnel for G7, change it to E7, take it outside the tunnel. And make sure you're using the same fingers as me, don't be holding things like this to make it a bit weird for you, okay? So, E7, let's start with G7, sorry. So behind the tunnel, E7, outside the tunnel. Back to G7, behind the tunnel. E7, outside the tunnel. All right, let's remove our fingers. Let's see if we can hold an E7 in three seconds. Ready? Go. One, two, three, strum. Let's do it again. Remove it. Go. E7, one, two, three, strum. Let's try it in two seconds. Remove it. Go. One, two, strum. Again, two seconds. One, two, strum. Now let's go from A major to F sharp minor to D major to E7. Now just one quick thing before we do that, you'll sometimes see me hold D major like this. This is a bit of an advanced way to hold it, but if you can, then that's awesome. I'm using playing three strings with one finger. My ring finger is barring, is flattening, against the second fret of the G, C, and E string, but my A string is still open. So if you can do that and really flatten your finger like that, then perfect, go ahead for it, I don't mind. But if you're not doing the flattening, then you can use the middle finger on top and pinky on that E string, okay? So let's try it, four strums on F, four strums on F, I mean four strums on A major, four strums on F sharp minor, four strums on D major, four strums on E7. Three, Go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Let's do it again. I'm going to slow it down. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Alright, 
right, so let's get into our song for today. I'm going to sing it to you once and then I'm just going to show you the strumming pattern and we'll play it together. When the night has come And the land is dark And the moon is the only light we'll see No, I won't be afraid No, I won't be afraid Just as long So the way we play the song is we're going to use those four chords and it's really simple. We're going to put our, hold our A major and strum it twice, not with our swing strum, but with our regular Hawaiian strum. Our down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. All right, so let's try it together slowly. Twice on A major. Once means one down, down, up, up, down, up. One, two, three, go. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. Down up. Now let's go to our F sharp minor. Do the same thing. Two down, down, up, up, down, ups. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Let's put those two together. A major and F sharp minor. Three, go. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Now we're gonna go to D major and only strum it with one down, down, up, up, down, up. Not two. One down, down, up, up, down, up. Let's do it. Three, go. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Again. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Let's take it from A major all the way until D major. One, two, three, go. Down, down, up, up, down, up, 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 down, down, up, up, down, up. Then after that D major, we're gonna go to an E7. Also with one down, down, up, up, down, up. So if anything has two down, up, up, down, ups, it will have one whole bar to itself. And you'll see that on the screen. If it has one down, down, up, up, down, up, that means it will have to share the bar with another chord. So D and E7 will be in the same bar, okay? And E7 will also just get one down, down, up, up, down, up. So let's go for it. Down, down, up, up, down, up. And then we'll finish it off back to an A major. So literally for an E7 to get to an A major, you just flip these two fingers around. The index finger goes down, the middle finger goes up. Boom. Just like that. So for E7 it was like that. A major, back to there. So we'll finish on A major and start again on A major. Finish with two A majors, start again with two A majors. So let's do the whole thing nice and slow. One, two, three, go. Start again on A. Down, down, up, up, down, up, 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 down. Let's do it a bit quicker. One, two, three, go. Let's see if you can play along while I'm singing. One, two, three. When the night has come and the land is dark and the moon is the only light we'll see. No, I won't be afraid.
can stand by me. Oh, stand by me. Won't you stand? Just stand. Stand by me. All right. So you play it three times through, and then you finish on that A major. Okay. All right, grade five. So that's it for today. Four new chords, A major, F sharp minor, D major, and E7, and a new song, Stand By Me. Next week, we're going to have our last song for the term, but make sure you're remembering every single one of these chords. So far, we have a C, a G, an A minor, an F, and a G7. That's five chords. Now, with these new four, A major, F sharp minor, D major, E7, those are nine chords. So you should be able to play those nine chords anytime someone says, hey, play me an E7. Oh yeah, no problem. Play me a G7, yeah, sure. Play me a G major, oh, I was right there. Play me a C major, are you kidding me? That's the easiest chord of all. All right, I want it to be that easy for you to just bring up those chords whenever someone asks about it, all right? So practice hard, and I'll see you next week.